my dad always loved that song and had sang that to my mom at some like formative date or something. But he always said that that song was called Annie Song. And I got a little older and I was looking for Annie Song. My mom's name's Ann. And uh, that's not the name of that song. I told him and he was just distraught. It was like, it's absolutely called Annie Song. I was like, I, I, you're going to take that up with Elton and Bernie. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that, that's like one of those songs from your youth that I don't know that I can track. You know, as a kid, that's probably what I'm hearing, whatever's on the radio. But it's one of those artists, I think, a, like a lot of people, you kind of go through different genres. You're maybe listening to some embarrassing music in high school or whatever, you know, different phases of your life. But like, it's one of those artists that's always there. Like, Elton is always applicable to, at least for me, wherever I was at. It's a little bit funny This feeling inside I'm not one of those who can easily hide You know, I'm the oldest sibling, so um, I didn't have that kind of like rad, like older brother, or older sister to like, you know, steal their records, but um, yeah, maybe my mom and dad. My dad's like this interesting man, kind of like this uh, American dad type, you know what I mean? That um, got married young and great father and all that. And but he's a real weird music listener. Like he'll, he'll absolutely like fall in love with an artist. That one record, Tom Petty, Full Moon Fever. And he won't buy any more Tom Petty records. It's that one record does it. It's this one, you know, Pink Floyd record. It's this one whatever, you know, this one Elton John record. Um, but all that stuff is like, you know, everything's formative, <laughs> you know, so I, I, I'm going to assume it was him, it might have been mom, I don't know. That's kind of my whole love for Elton as an artist is like, that dude is just pervasive, he's everywhere, you know. You can tell everybody this is your song. And it may be quite simple, but now it's on. I hope you don't mind, I hope you don't mind that I put down in words. You know, I got great parents I and, and, and I want to be a great like parent and, and there's an amount of guilt that is kind of always there. You know, I'm gone from my kids as we speak and that's hard. Um, I also know that I'm at my best when I'm able to do what I love too. And, and my wife was definitely making the joke that like, man, I married a tour musician. Like, this, him being home ain't the deal. <laughs> that ain't the deal, but uh, we make it work, you know? A lot of love. Love's the segue, there we go. <laughs> but the sun's been quite kind While I wrote this song It's for people like you To keep it turned on talking about that song has fit into like multiple wedding ceremonies. I don't think we got it on, on tape. Like yeah, it was at my parents' wedding. Um, according to them, I mean, because he thought the song was called Annie's Song, so we don't know. It's an unreliable narrative, but uh, I had my buddy play it in my wedding. That song, that song's just always been there. I think it's the best love song I've ever written. me Yours are the sweetest eyes Seen. And you can tell everybody this is your song. And it may be quite simple, but now it's on. I hope you don't mind, I hope you don't mind that I put down in words. How wonderful life is now that you're in the world. I hope you don't mind, I hope you don't mind that I put down in the world. How wonderful life is now that you're in the world.
that work for you? Yeah. Awesome. I'm interested in artists that just don't care. Okay, now I'm gonna just go do this record with my piano, and now I'm gonna do this record with a million string instruments for Disney or whatever. You know, this is the same guy that did Saturday Night's All Right for Fighting. There's not a lot of there's not a lot of people that um, a have the interest or the talent to do that, but then b have the I don't know the personality. You know, I wouldn't have the ego to ever be in that same mention in that same sense. But you know, the ones that seem to uh, not e not even like defy genre, but just not even care. Like I didn't bring the band; it's just me tonight. Shit. So I better have some good lives. I done told them all to these people. I'm here to help Elton John sell records today. I think <laughs> he's falling apart. <laughs> well, uh, you have you have tickets. To see him. Yeah, yeah, with my mom and dad, man. Me and my wife and my mom and dad. Like, I don't know that I've ever been to a real concert with my mom and dad, but, uh, you know, we're, we're different people, but, um, you know, I love them. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm gonna pull me out. I got a big chain around my neck, and I'm looking down, I'm not a train.